Okay, battery's almost done for this one. Uh, okay, you're going to have that notched out where, or right down here, after you find your chin line. And basically you're just going to cross it in, like so. Alright, you can actually use, there we go, <laughs> I had one out. Ah, must have put it away. Alright, those sort of things that you can get, just or something like that. You just basically use one of those as a pin. Go in sideways, face corner to corner, and basically get one or two of those to hold it perfect so it doesn't move until you get the first few stitches in it using string, whatever, or yarn. Uh, you can actually go out and buy these yarn needles. It has a really wide head, so you can get the yarn in them. And you can use those. They press through kind of hard, but they will go through the holes at an angle. And you can actually stitch the plastic that way. Uh, preferably though, I prefer shoelaces. They're, that you can pick up at the dollar store. They're nice, soft, and you just trim the ends off after you're done. I use a sewing needle to actually tie them off to another one of the stitching along the side. It works a lot better. <laughs> but when you get done with that, you'll be able to have the piece look come like something like that. And to get these snaps lined up, you're basically gonna hold it up to your face and try to get your measurement for along the side and what you're gonna do is take your marker and mark back here on the plastic where you basically get for a hole. And let's see what did we do? Yeah. I'm gonna take these snaps and you can push those through the hole. Make sure that before you sew it together, you have your rough side out on the plastic. That's the side with the bad presses and stuff like that from the plastic factory. But, uh, otherwise you gotta do it. But, you notch out with the razor knife a little four pattern. The reason for that is this doesn't like to press through plastic and stay centered for wherever you put it. You want to go down about two holes before you make your little block. That's for reinforcement. And that's for wherever it measures up on you on the side. I already have mine made up. You want to leave the ear tabs. Do not cut these off. There's a reason for it. It makes it easier to grab the back. You have it snapped up. And when you go to pull it off, you get your thumb under it for taking it back off. So it makes it easy to pop it back off. And remember to use the smooth side punch pieces for the punch. Punch. Alright. Uh, that is so much so far that I have right now for this video. Uh, I'll get more into the next video as I get farther into it. And I hope you have fun making your mask. I still have to work on the other pieces that come out off this for the rest of the mouth jaw assembly, which will also be made out of, of course, the mesh. And, of course, I got a neat idea, I'll bring that up in a later one, for uh, people that like to talk in their suit. You always had that problem with the suit absorbing a lot of your sound when you're trying to talk. I have a solution.